Hi everyone, my name is Tal and I'm the product owner for P2P Kit at Duepa. I'd like to take a few minutes to show you how to get started with P2P Kit and how quickly it is to embed it into your app. So the first thing that you need to do in order to get started is to uh, register. I'll head down to the registration page. I have to uh, fill in this uh, little form. It's only going to take a few seconds. Select my country and lastly I would have to accept the term of service. I'll head down to my uh, mailbox and uh, as you can see I received already my application key. It's uh, this long uh, string here. I would need that in order to enable P2P Kit in my app. The next step would be to go to our GitHub uh, page where we host uh, two repositories, one for iOS and one for, and for Android with a very uh, easy to get started with demo and uh, some instructions. So the next step would be to download P2P Kit framework. I'll go ahead and click that link and uh, head to Finder. You need to extract P2P Kit framework and basically add this framework into our Xcode project. So let's head over to Xcode. This project over here is something we have uh, pre-created to showcase uh, P2P Kit and how it functions. Basically it shows discovery and uh, content exchange capabilities. Uh, it helps you understand how quickly it is to get started with P2P Kit and how uh, smoothly the discovery and content exchange functions. So uh, a user is going to select a color and that color is going to represent his identity and peers around him are going to discover him through his color and he's going to discover them through their color. So in order to add P2P Kit into this project, we just need to drag and drop it. Just like so, make sure that copy items if needed is uh, selected. And uh, we need to add some dependencies in the linked frameworks and libraries. The list of those dependencies is available also on our Get Started Guide. We'll just need to add uh, all of these. So I'm gonna start by adding Core Bluetooth. So once all the dependencies are added, we are ready to start uh, writing some code. So let's head over to the app delegate. So once in the app delegate, we can uh, start writing some code. Let's begin by importing uh, P2P kit into our implementation file, just like so. And also mentioning the uh, delegate so that we can receive the callbacks from uh, P2P kit. Next step would be to enable P2P kit with configuration. The configuration would be basically the application key I've received from the email. I'll go ahead and copy that. Just put that in right here and pass myself to be the uh, very first observer of P2P Kit so that I can immediately know uh, what's going on. I'll head into my snippet page and copy the rest of the code uh, in order to save time and I'll run you through it. So basically when a P2P Kit is initialized, uh, what I would like to do is notify the view that he can uh, set up and as mentioned before this application has been pre-created So all the UI part is basically out of scope, but you can uh, go ahead and, uh, and download it uh, from, uh, from GitHub um, And the next part would be to listen to the pure discovered and pure lost events So uh, these are these two guys over here um, in both of them when a pure discovered or when a pure is lost You are receiving the PPK peer object. Let's have a look what it contains it is very simple. It basically contains the peer ID and the discovery info as NS data. In this discovery info, you can put whatever you want. In our case, we are putting a color code, as I mentioned before. So in that case, when a peer is discovered, I will request the view to add the node for this peer and pass in the peer so he could read the color code from it. When a peer is lost, I will tell the view to remove that peer because he's no longer there. The more interesting part is what happens when a peer um, uh, around me is changing his color and in that case his discovery info has changed and for this we have a special delegate uh, callback called did update p2p discovery info for peer passing in the peer with his new discovery info in our case we will just pass that along again to the view that he could uh, um, change the color on that uh, nearby peer what happens when i change my own color so at the very first time uh, when this is happening, I would obviously like to start discovering peers around me. In that case, I would, uh, so when P2P discovery stopped, that means we would like to start it. In that case, I will call PPK controller, start P2P discovery with discovery info. Into the discovery info, you guessed it, I pass in my color code in the form of uh, NS data object. When I change my color, I would like to disseminate that contact that new color into the nearby peers and I will do that by calling PPK controller push new discovery info and that discovery info again would contain my color code. 
At that point we are done, we can uh, already build and run and have a look how it looks like on the simulator. So I'll just build and run. As you can see, this is the UI, this is the color uh, selector and here at the console we can see that uh, P2P Kit was enabled uh, for version 1 and my application ID is 12.18. I can go ahead and uh, rotate this dial here and select the color, I'll be green. So this is me and when peers around me are being discovered, they will show, uh, be shown around here. This I can only do on the devices, so let's go ahead and jump into a quick demo on the device itself. So let's jump into a small demo. Basically I have prepared uh, three phones here. Uh, here they are, I'm uh, recording their uh, screens and uh, next step would be to just uh, build and run the app. Here we go, so uh, the app is starting on the iPhone 6 and uh, we can see in the console here that P2P Kit is enabled and everything is uh, proper. So uh, what I'll do is I'm going to select a few colors for the phones around. One phone will be yellow, the second phone will be uh, blue and the iPhone 6 will be, let's say, uh, green. I'm going to uh, release this at the same time so that we can see the discovery effect. So here we go, they all discovered each other. That happened uh, pretty quick and uh, you can just uh, you know play with this a little bit and uh, move it around. So basically just to external PC here, me, I'm in the middle and uh, phone number one and phone number two are nearby me. One of them has selected his color to be yellow and the other one has selected his color to be blue. And what I'm going to do now is going to change the colors on all of them. So green will become purple, blue will become red and yellow will become uh, orange. And we can see how the color changes um, and disseminated between the phones um, relatively quickly. And uh, the next step would be to just uh, remove one of the phones. So uh, I've killed the app on one of the phones. And uh, what we'll see in a second or in a few minutes is how the lost event is uh, being delivered. Uh, I'm just going to speed up because this takes a little bit of time. And there we go, the peer has been uh, lost and removed from the screen. And uh, by the way, um, see everything uh, is running uh, off net, so the phone is basically on flight mode and only Bluetooth is active. So that's it, uh, that's peer to peer kit and that's a very quick uh, demo of it. Thank you for watching and uh, make sure to sign up um, to uh, P2P kit, give it a try, keep tabs on our Twitter account uh, at P2PKit.io and uh, Frank, our CTO, he's uh, constantly updating it and is going to distribute new content. Make sure also to check out his blog. Thanks a lot.